no point burying your head in the sand. The world's going to change with or without you. So you can either change with the world and change with the changes in networking, or you can be left behind. There we go. Don't be like others and ignore the changes taking place in networking today. Networking is changing. You need to change and adapt as well. Be aware of the changes taking place. It doesn't make sense to bury your head in the sand. Networking is going to change whether you like it or not. Technology changes all the time, whether we like that or not. So it's up to you. You can either change with the changes or you can be left behind and suffer the consequences. I personally like the changes in networking because it gives everyone new opportunities. If you're new to networking, that's an advantage because you can learn the new technologies, not the old technologies, and use that to your advantage. I used to have a lot of experience with ISDN and analog modems. How does that help me today? How does it help me today to have that experience? It's kind of pointless. These days, I have to spend my time learning network automation, network programmability, SDN, and those new technologies that are important today. Other new technologies like cloud are really important. So I have to spend my time learning those new technologies. If you're in IT, you have to accept that things are gonna be changing all the time and that you have to keep on studying and keep on learning and keep on adapting to the changes. This is an extinct animal known as the quagga in South Africa, or as my American friends would say, the quagga. But quagga is how you actually pronounce it in South Africa. An extinct animal. Don't go extinct like the quagga or the dodo. There's still a large group, I would assume, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's still a large group of people who are just starting. Mm -hmm. Is there a place where they can you know, start you know, what would you recommend? How do, how would they get started? Yeah, I mean, we were constantly surprised to some extent about how many people are still to, at that kind of just entry level point and looking to go through. And so DevNet came up with this this idea around kind of this start now concept. And so if you go to developer.cisco.com slash start now, or there's a link on the main developer.cisco.com page as well. Um, we put this together as kind of exactly like it says, a curated list of learning content. And so if you're brand new to network automation, you're trying to figure out just inundated by all of this material that's there, um, you can jump to the Start Now page. And depending on kind of where you're coming from and what you're interested in getting started with, um, we've kind of curated a set of learning labs and content that you can jump into to help you kind of drive yourself into that direction and act as a jumping off point. And so if you come in and you're an enterprise networking engineer focused on things like campus, LAN, and WAN, um, you can click the EN networking button and you can see we've got four hours and about 10 labs of content that we feel is a great place to get started. Um, if you're coming at it from a collaboration focus, we've got labs on, on WebEx that's out there, um, data center networking, and so these are very kind of targeted out of the very large catalog of content that DevNet has and says, okay, give these a shot. And then from there, you can jump in other areas. One of the other exciting pieces we have for folks that, are, that have the opportunity to join us at a, a big event like a Cisco Live, we've actually taken the Start Now concept from the digital and brought it into those in live events. And so we have an entire section of DevNet zone at our events dedicated to start now where we run through um kind of fund coding fundamental labs all day long classroom sessions so you can come in at any point sit down and kind of jump into some of our basic labs um, we've got times where you can sit down with one of the devnet developers and kind of help um, just ask questions and get some advice on kind of where to go and what resources might make sense and introduce you to folks that are out there. And so that kind of start now concept is something that's been really kind of important over this last year or so, um, helping kind of give a, a targeted entry point for, for our audience that's out there that's just getting started.